Now let's get back for the bigger part here. Now we have to create this banner element here which is consisting of a left box which has this image and a right box which has this particular text one. Let's understand this. This is a particular banner element. This is the mother wrapper. This is the left box which will be consisting of this particular image. This is the right box that will be consisting of all these things, this text. We are first going to create, create a mother wrapper and then we are going to create two parallel, two sidewise boxes. Those will be containing this image and this particular text. So that is why we are getting back to our index.html and we are creating another separate container fluid element and inside this container fluid element we are going to create a call sm5 first and then we are going to create a call sm7 we have consumed up to 5 columns and in the second case we have consumed up to these 7 columns as we have told you that in case of a bootstrap element, it is practically divided into 12 grids. So here, if we divide these 12 grids into two particular boxes, the first one consisting of 5 grids and the second one consisting of 7 grids. So there won't be any problem. But in case if we use here instead of call SM7, if we use here call SM8, then that will be a massacre because 5 plus 8 is 13 and 13 is always greater than 12. So that is why we cannot use here call SM8, but instead we can use call SM7 and that will be equivalent to 12 total grids of a bootstrap framework. Now in this particular case, into this call SM5, all we are going to do, we are going to house this particular image and in case of this call SM7, we are going to house this particular text over here. First of all, let's create, first of all, we are creating this H3 tag and here inside, this is the first case that we have created. In the second case, we need to create an H4 tag. Reload and we can see that this thing is right into its position. So we have created first of all this container fluid and then we have created this call SM5 and call SM7 and inside we are creating all these things. Now the rest of the thing is we have to create some particular class name in order to create all these effects in order to make it appear as if in this particular case. So let's get back to our project and here we are creating some and inside here Now the rest of the things are customizing all these things. This banner element class name, this banner element left panel. So we need to customize all these things. So first of all, we are going to customize this banner element. So we are getting back here and we are copying this class name and we are pasting it here. Reload and we can see that this is the banner element we have made up to this for and now let's get back to our project and here in this index.html now let's concentrate on this particular left side image. This image will be certainly a background image because we will be making some filter effects over here and some filter and some blending modes and we will be imposing on some blending modes here. So that is why we will be creating it as a background image not as an image source. So let's get back to banner element. 
here and this banner element left panel we are copying this class name from here and we are pasting it 